Hello everyone! Today I wanted to share with you everything I know about copying grades. You will learn five different ways of copying grades from one clip to another, and then two different ways of copying grades from one timeline to another. I think you will find it very helpful, as you may have a situation where you will have a few different versions of the same edit on different timelines, or that you will be simply reusing the same clips for different edits. So then instead of recreating the grade from the scratch, you can basically copy it over. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my mailing list if you are interested in the color grading course for beginners that I'm creating. I'll leave you a link to it below this video. And now let's move to the main part of the tutorial. And we are in the color tab. I've imported here a few clips. They are already prepared. So these two clips are graded and these three are ungraded. And I will start from showing you a few different ways of copying grades from one clip to another. So the first way of doing this is to highlight the clip we want to copy the grade to. Then we right click on the clip we want to copy the grade from. And we hit apply grade. And the grade has been copied over immediately. Exactly the same node structure with all the same information, as you can see. Then I will reset it to show you another way of copying grades by using stills. So we need to highlight the node we want to copy our grade from. Then let's right click on the clip in the inspector and let's pick grab still. And then our still will appear in the gallery over here. And it's a still that contains all of the grading information. And then we just have to go back to and highlight the node we want to copy this grade to. And then when we hover the cursor over the still, we can actually preview the grade on our ungraded clip. Have a look. And then if we want to copy this grade over, we just have to right click on the still and hit apply grade. Done. All right, and let's reset this grade again. As I've said, there's a few different ways of copying grades. So another way is to highlight the clip we want to copy the grade from. Then we have to go here to color, then memories, and then save memory A. And now we gotta highlight the ungraded clip. And then we have to go to color, memories, and load memory A. And now let me move to the next sequence of the clips here. And the next way of copying grades is to simply highlight the graded clip, then hitting Command C on Mac and Control C on Windows, and then highlighting the ungraded clip and hitting Command V or Control V on the keyboard. Done. And now I will show you one last way of copying grades that actually not many people know of. So this clip is ungraded, and if we want to copy onto it the grade from the previous clip on the timeline, we can simply hit Shift Plus on the keyboard, like this. Or if we want to copy onto it the grade from the clip that's located before the previous one on the timeline, we have to hit Shift minus on the keyboard. So now let's move on to copying grades from one timeline to another. Let's go back to the Edit tab then. And here in the media pool, I have two more timelines, the graded one and the ungraded one. So let's open the graded one. And here I have a short sequence of the clips. They are all graded. And this clip is duplicated and it has got two different grades on it and there's a reason for it, you'll see later what I mean. And now let's go to the ungraded sequence, just to show you. Here we've got the same clips, they're all ungraded and the only difference is that this clip here is not duplicated. And then at the end we have an additional clip that is not in the graded sequence. And now in order to copy a grade from one sequence to another, we have to right click on this sequence we want to copy the grade to in the media pool. In my case, it's this ungraded sequence. Then we have to go to timelines, then color trace, then color trace from timeline, and this window will pop up. And here I will open my local database, and this will look differently for each of you, as I have here all of my projects listed. And also, as you can see, you can copy grades not only from one timeline to another within the same project, but also you can copy grades from one timeline to another from different projects. So let me navigate to the right project, which is copying grades. And here I've got my graded sequence, which is basically this sequence from the media pool. So I'll click on it and I will hit continue. 
then another window will pop up and here I've got my ungraded timeline displayed. Our clips are shown here as thumbnails and we can use a manual or an automatic color trace. So let's pick the manual and here we can basically manually match clip by clip the clips we want to copy the grade from with the clips we want to paste the grade on. So let's select the first clip from the graded timeline and the first clip from the ungraded timeline and let's hit paste. And also to speed up this process in the manual mode, we can match the whole sequences. So let me do it with these three clips. So again, I will select the clips from the graded timeline and then from the ungraded timeline and I'll hit paste again. And then this clip at the end, I will leave without a match as, as you remember, it doesn't exist on the graded timeline. And then this clip was duplicated on the graded timeline. So I basically have to pick the right one I want to copy the grade from. I know it was the clip number three, not two. So I'll do that. And then I'll choose the corresponding clip on the ungraded timeline and I'll hit paste again. And now we can hit done and let's have a look if it worked. So let's go back to the color tab and let's check it clip by clip. And it worked perfectly. But let me reset it and let me show you the automatic way of copying grades as it's a bit faster than the manual way. So again, let's go to the edit tab, then right click on the ungraded timeline, then timelines, color trace and color trace from the timeline. Then let's navigate to the right timeline again. And now in the automatic mode, green means that the exact match was found. Blue means that multiple potential matches were found and red means that no match was found. So then we can just click on the first clip to check it. Yes, this is the right match. Then let's click on the blue one. Let's just highlight the right clip we want to copy our grade from, which in my case is clip number three. Then the next three clips are matched properly. So let's just double check it. And our last clip has got no match. So again, I can just hit copy grade and exit. And again, when we go to the color tab, our sequence should be all graded. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.